start the race and you have all the intensity, all the energy in the world. You're surrounded around the people and they're rooting for you. The muscles are working and you have that can-do spirit. And it's also very similar to the feeling when you're hiking the mountain and you're looking around and you know you can just visualize yourself in the summit and you're enjoying the process. But it isn't until you find yourself alone and quiet when the view isn't as pretty, when a lot of those voices that were encouraging and uplifting and intriguing were nourishing your spirit and feeding your, your can-do mind. You see, it isn't until those moments of despair, those moments of struggle, when your legs hurt, when your heart rate is through the roof, and when all the voices from the outside have diminished, but the new voices have kicked in. The new voices of doubt, the new voices of fear. And where do those voices come from? They come from our unconscious. See, what happens is we all have this database, and this library of past experiences. And those past experiences are filled with the things that we've done wrong, the swings that we struck out on, the shots we didn't take, or even the shots that we've missed. And together, those combine and become a cumulative sum of what you think your potential is and your self-value. And those begin to creep up and they begin to tell you and remind you that because this pain is so intense and because there's probably a lot more of that pain in your future, you're not strong enough. And it tries to save you, and it tries to relive. You see, what ends up happening is that we have in our genome, in our biology, the history of all those letdowns, all those failures, all those hurts. And we can go back with an instant and tap in, not just to that moment and relive it, but also to physiologically experience that moment. And we feel that pain. And even though we are not actually living in a real life circumstance of something that happened in the past, that might have let us feel little, that might have made us feel diminished or small. The feeling says otherwise, it becomes real and that fire is hot. And before you know it, you don't think that you can go on. You don't think that you have what it takes. You believe that you're doomed to failure. You believe that what is inevitable is gonna be your doom. And that for that, you will be judged forever as the person who tried, who never finished, the person who couldn't, and that becomes lies. All those things are lies, you see? The reality is, is that that pressure, that pain, is what manifests it. See, without that pressure, without that pain, there can be no progress. It is in the struggle, when you're going through the grit, when your heart rate is up, when your legs are burning, and when those thoughts do enter your mind, that that is where the work happens. And it might take you X number of miles, it might take you a certain amount of time and it might take until all of those yes men and women around you disappear that you have to reach down inside and begin to develop a new skill and that skill needs to go and give you utility and it is only then that that skill allows for you to be able to have something that you never had before and that is the secret you see that becomes the alternative motive that becomes the one thing that alters the chances so when everybody looks at the stats and tells you the probability and the likelihood of success, you're actually making liars out of those statistics because you are becoming that 0.00% because of the new skill that you're developing. And what is that? It is the exercise and the utility of your willpower. It is the intention of your determination. It is the resilience of grit. And when you use those and cultivate them and begin to incorporate that, you do enter into neuroplasticity. And that neuroplasticity begins to set a new framework and a new guideline. And that guideline becomes your new standard and your new way of living. And now you're not that person who tries to run from the inferno, but instead you run right through it. Because you know you are shielded with the armor necessary to go into battle and face not just warriors, but titans because you yourself have elevated into something great. 
So my friends, do not fear the pain. Do not fear the struggle. Run towards the inferno and trust in yourself and in the skill set and know that while others will look at the inevitable and the pain and run from it, there is conviction and liberation behind your new skill set, your new development. That is what's gonna make you a champion. That is what makes you a titan. And that is what will allow you to step into your emitting light of greatness. So my friends, make your decision. Become a light and shine and step into your greatness because we're all waiting.